family, and friends who are here to celebrate the class of 2024. My name is Mariah Reese, and I'm the assistant principal here at AASD. It has been our honor to support and assist each of these students in realizing his or her possibilities while here at AASD. Thank you for allowing us to play a part in the lives of these extraordinary young people. Let us join together in welcoming, welcoming the senior class of 2024. $5,000 per academic year, 
with a potential four-year value up to $20,000. Congratulations to Aiden Adair, Andrew Villa, Balin Bentoncourt, Madison Norman, Kay Faith, Roderick McCann, Isaac McDonald, Tayson Patel, Sarah Perry, and Emma Zimmerman. Congratulations to Dakota Beasley, Isabella Bellamy, Jonah Carter, Gordon Cox, Isabella Fulmer, Nicholas Mercado, Nicholas Orlando, Kaylee Robertson, Alessandro Testa, and Brady Wright. <laughs> Congratulations to Carly Blanchard, Daniel Costa, Abigail Furman, Emmanuel Frank, Chloe Martin, Gianna Montant, Montant, Mia, I don't know their last name, but starts with R, um, and Gabrielle Spencer.
Caroline Forest Library have a book nook. Many of you may know our book nook. Um, many of you may have donated books to our nook and or come to some of our bag sales or purchase books at the nook. Um, the nook's purpose is really to give back to the community in various ways. And one of the ways we give back is through scholarships. And so tonight I have the opportunity to present a scholarship to Chloe Martin. Welcome Deborah Wagner for the Friends of the Surfside Library.
mental health and political awareness and involvement. The Conway Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, Incorporated serves all communities of Orange County and is committed to scholarship, sisterhood, and service. Today, our chapter is pleased to present a $1,000 scholarship to Ms. Aliyah Lewis. Next, we have Cookie Goings, who is here to present the Alpha Delta Kappa Teaching Scholarship. Good evening. On behalf of the members of the Alpha Delta Kappa Teachers Organization here in Horry County and namely Myrtle Beach, I'm honored to be here as retired Horry County Schools um, educator. I will forever be an educator. Why I want to be a teacher. Teachers teach, but that's not all they do. They inspire, excite, and encourage young minds to excel in a challenging world. Ever since I was a little girl, teaching has always inspired me. My passion for teaching comes from my mother. When I want to learn more information, I turn to my mother. She has taught kindergarten for many years now, she first got to teaching to be all on the same to be off on the same schedule in the days as her children were, and to be able to help us with our homework. Although my mom started teaching out of convenience, she quickly fell in love with it. Every day she comes home and tells my family all the sweet and funny stories about the kids she teaches in her class. She still works at the school after many years. After hearing all those stories and really considering it. I decided that I actually want to pursue it. These students have so much life and dreams that can advance with good teaching. I would love to keep encouraging these students to learn and help them be the best that they can possibly be. Learning how students actually learn best is important to me since I struggled with school at a very young age. I had a special delay that required me to complete child development. In that class and years later, I struggled with understanding the information I was taught. Since I wasn't a strong reader, reader in early elementary, this hindered me going forward. Having this obstacle forced me to work harder than other students, and I had to get help from my teachers. However, over time, this allowed me to become a very dedicated student. I learned very important and useful studying strategies that made me made me become the well-rounded student I am today. I believe I can give students a unique perspective from a learner that doesn't get the information as quickly and as easily as others would. I have empathy for students who struggle with learning, but with the right teaching style, they can excel. Last year, I met and chatted with a customer in my work that really changed my perspective on the future. When she first came up to the counter, she was happy and illuminated. You could tell that she just loved doing what she did. I started talking to her, and she told me a little bit about herself. She mentioned that she was a teacher and how she couldn't imagine doing anything else. I automatically wanted to know more about it because at this time, I was still skeptical if this was the right career path. She said that she talked to first graders. I asked her why that age, and I'll never forget what she said next. She said that first grade was the best year to teach. The kids still had so much imagination and sparkle that she just loved to teach the minds that were so interested in what she had to say. This moment really solidified to me that teaching younger minds is what I wanted to do. Given my background in school and learning, I believe I have the desire and drive to inspire and spark that imagination in others. Congratulations, 2024 Alpha Delta Kappa Gloria Sack Memorial Scholarship recipient, Anderson University bound, early childhood education major, Ms. Alice Kinsel. Next, Wanda Randall will be presenting the Lilla C. Livingston Scholarship. The Lilla C. Livingston Foundation was established in 2008 by the Livingston family to honor their mother slash grandmother, Mrs. Lilla C. Livingston. Ms. Livingston was a pillar of the Milwaukee popular community. She was always known for helping others. Her strong faith in 
and Dawn was a motivating factor. She was a positive individual who was always instilling hope in others. She was a strong believer in education. Because of this, her family established a scholarship to help deserving students in the community who plan to attend college when they graduate high school. This year, 13 $1,000 scholarships were awarded to students planning to attend college. The recipients that attend our school are Alice Kendall, Alia Lewis, and Chloe Martin. Next, uh, Bambi Condry will present the South Carolina Teaching Fellow Award. The South Carolina Teaching Fellows Program is a scholarship for high school seniors who want to become teachers in South Carolina's public schools. The program's goal is to recruit talented students and help them develop leadership skills. The program provides up to 200 high school seniors with a $6,000 scholarship each year for up to four years. The scholarship also includes $300 per year for summer enrichment. In exchange, each fellow is, must commit to one year of service in the South Carolina Public School for each year that they receive the scholarship. To be eligible for the program, students must have high academic achievement, have a history of community and school service, want to teach in South Carolina, and complete a written and oral application process. We have four AASC students who were chosen as South Carolina Teaching Fellows this year. I had the privilege of having these young ladies in my teacher grade class this year. I'm extremely proud of them and can confidently say what wonderful teachers they will soon become. Congratulations to Alice Kinzel, Chloe Martin, Sarah Perry, and Alex, Alex, Alex Werber. present the Red Cross Scholarship. Good evening. It is my honor to present the Red Cross Scholarship to one outstanding individual. Her dedication and hard work have made a significant impact in the involvement with the Red Cross. We are proud to announce that this year we have collected 43 units of blood, which is potentially going to save the
who excel not only in the classroom but also in service to their community. Um, and this particular student serves her community in a number of ways and has excelled here at AST in the last two years. Um, she'll be continuing her studies at the University of Nebraska. She wasn't there to receive this award last week from the chamber themselves, but they asked that I deliver it to her tonight, and that is Ms. Caroline Pope. Next, we'll hear from Corporal Benjamin Cantu for the National Guard recognition.
begin our uh, department club and major awards with Advanced Art and National Art Honor Society, beginning with the esteemed Ms. Brindley. Um, I have a few words of wisdom from this spot for me. 
It was truly hard to pick only two students to give the awards to when so many of you are so deserving. To me, you will always be the best computer science students in this state. And I have the first award is going to a young lady who has excelled in all the classes she's taken with her. And me too. I did have her in some class. Um, producing an outstanding senior mastery and topping it off with the highest EOC score out of all PLTW computer science principal students. It has been a pleasure to have her in class, Katie Marks. Jolly Ranchers. 
Um, my, um, my major this year consists of three seniors. I know, right? So um, don't worry. The other one just had to work tonight. I'll give him a certificate tomorrow. Please, <laughs> for, for excellent work every day, uh, Dylan Foster and Mason Lanai.
Please join me in congratulating Isabella Bellamy and William Jacob Hayden. Because of their commitment to the students of AAST, 
They ensured that 100% of the students who bought a book were represented in its pages at least three times. There is one student who was instrumental in us achieving the successes that we have had this year and without whose leadership and attention to detail, my job would undoubtedly have been exponentially harder. Congratulations to the outstanding senior yearbook students and co-editor, Samantha Grace Wick. Good evening, class of 2024. I hope you've had an awesome day. And I do hope that through your two years here at AAST, you have some memories you can carry with you for the rest of your life. My name is Jeff McGon, and I taught in multiple sections of English Four Honors. In those sections, I have several outstanding students. But I had one that truly stood out and demonstrated what it means to be a scholar. So tonight, we celebrate that student with one of our awards for outstanding achievement in English. And that student is Harper Morgan. Classmates. 
and thus they ensure a positive learning experience for everyone. So please join me in congratulating Drew Bell.
Japanese excelled. So join me in congratulating Matthew Waltney and Jonathan Sessions.
service, and character. A National Honor Society president at AAST has the added responsibility of dealing with a usually unfocused and slightly immature advisor who is likely to get a really good idea at the very last minute, so she's forced to be enthusiastic and helpful and hardworking to make all of it happen. This year's National Honor Society president has mastered all of this and more. Uh, she's absolutely wonderful. The National Honor Society's member of the year is Belle Milne. I just read, and we will pull 
hold our applause <laughs> to the end. Um, and we will we'll catch each person with a photo here in the, in the center before we move to the next person. So um, we will begin with Lindsay Beam, AP Scholar with Distinction, AP Capstone Diploma Candidate, Principal's List. You may now applaud. Next, we will have Dakota Beasley, highest SAT at North Myrtle Beach High School and National Merit Semi-Finalist. <laughs> Next is Andrew Bella, AP Scholar. John Carter, AP Scholar. Jonah Carter, AP Scholar. <laughs> Eduardo Gonzalez Coli, AP Scholar with Honor. <laughs> Allison Colquitt, AP Scholar, AP Seminar and Research Certificate, AP Capstone Diploma Candidate. Next is Gianna Costa, AP Scholar. Oh, sorry, Gianni. My bad. I'm so sorry. Gianna, Gianni Costa, AP Scholar. I am I mispronounced. Uh, next we have Savannah Dacamas, AP Scholar with Distinction and Principal's List. Next, we have Sadie DeRezzi, Principal's List. <laughs> Next is Catherine Duke, AP Scholar with Honor. <laughs> and next is Con Ekin Siegel, AP Scholar with Distinction. Next is Janine Escamas, Principal's List. And now, Soledad Escobar, AP Scholar. Gage Ferguson, AP Scholar with Distinction. And next. 
Next is Ariana Henry, AP Scholar with Distinction. Next is Caden Horrocks, AP Scholar with Distinction, AP Capstone Diploma Candidate. And now Cadence Johnson, AP Scholar and Principals List.
Next up is Aspen Whittington, Principals List. And now, Emma Zimmerman, AP Scholar with Honor. Next is Anthony Marinucci, AP Scholar.
Each year, the senior class votes for the senior who best personifies excellence in leadership, scholarship, and citizenship. The recipient of the 2024 Pace Award, AASD's most inspirational senior, is Grace Hurd. Thank you for sharing your time with us tonight and have a great evening.